All right, our tour around the SOCON conference continues tonight with Jacksonville. The Dolphins coming off their third straight trip to the SOCON tournament. They won their last three conference games to make it in, falling to high point eventually in the semifinal, 17 to three. Panthers uh, putting on a show there. Mm -hmm. They finished six and nine overall. They challenged themselves in the non-conference though, played games against Duke, Penn State, and Towson, nearly actually knocking off the Tigers uh, at the Crown Classic in Charlotte. They were led last year by Jack Dolan, who set the single-season program record with 55 points during his sophomore season. The All-SoCon first-teamer with 30 goals and 25 assists. This mainly, this after working mainly on the defensive side as a D midi as a freshman. Nice transition for him. Uh, John Galloway returning for his fourth season at the helm. It's crazy. It seems like just yesterday he took this job. He helped the program make their first SOCON tournament appearance back in 2017, followed by their first SOCON championship game appearance a year later. Galloway, of course, known also as a, for his outstanding career on the field, won gold with Team USA in the 2018 World Championships. Tom had a chance to catch up with him at the IMLCA convention last week. Yeah, you look towards the, the obviously how did I'm wonder how foul ball went now with you guys and coming off last year and, and sort of the vibe that you guys had at the end of the year. You know, what's what was the mindset? What was sort of some of the things you guys were saying? Yeah, we were really excited because of the amount of guys we had back. You know, I, I think the way that we ended the season was obviously heartbreaking. Um, but knowing that we only graduated one guy who played and to have that many returners back on our lineup, uh, 11 freshmen that played meaningful minute for us for those guys to be sophomores now, uh, the development of those guys, the, just the verbiage, the conversations that they can have with the younger group it's the first time we feel like we are player led and that's um, something that we've been looking for for years and now that every group has been with us now this is my fourth year right. so the seniors have kind of heard the same message for four years now we can really put the game in their hands and let them take over yeah, I want to ask you about that cycle now that you said four years you've seen being able to see these guys come through all the way almost to the end it, you know is that sort of a little bit of a different feeling now is now things start to turn over a little bit heading you know looking ahead a little bit farther too yeah it's, it's a really proud moment you know for your seniors who stuck with you for four years you know they were not recruited by our staff uh, we showed up on campus and, and it was really new for us and them and for them to be as patient as they were as persistent as they were uh, to take pride in what they do now I mean this is their program and at first it was you know them uh, us teaching them the way now it's really them teaching the way to the young guys and when you have that type of conversation going on in the locker room the group is just more fun to be around and it's it's been a, a fun fall because we can take a step back and watch that growth happen from the players within. So really proud of our group. Uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen on the field, but I can tell you that we're going into the winter here more confident, more pleased with the, the, the product that we're putting on the field more than ever before. And you guys always seem to stack the schedule. You know, you always have some tough competition. And the SOCON, too, it seems like has been a conference that has gotten better and better and better. I'm sure you've seen that firsthand. Yeah, I mean, last year we had three teams in our conference in that top 20 at some point, you know, with High Point, with Richmond, and with Air Force playing at the level they did last year. Our conference is now, uh, you know, murderer's row a little bit, and, and we need to prepare ourselves for that with our out-of-conference schedule. So we've always scheduled very difficult. Well, we're going to continue to do that, and those are, the, those are the games that our recruits want to play, and as we continue to bring in a higher-level recruit, they're going to want to play the Michigans and the Dukes and the Ohio States of the world, and we're thankful that those guys are willing to continue to play us. It's both ways, right? Yes. Uh, just really quick, just the, you know, looking at your last pro season uh, over the summer, you know, what do you take from that to your coaching, you know, looking at, at, the, at it now? Yeah, certainly this past year with the PLL was uh, an experience of, of learning, of, of adversity, of having to, to transition from different rules to different coaching staffs. And I was fortunate enough to play with Rochester and Dallas, the Rattlers, uh, my entire pro career to, to get a new coach and to get a new uh, roster was challenging for our leadership group and uh, I learned that you have to you have to have a communication line with your coaching staff you have to have an understanding when things change and, and we took that to our freshmen we took that to our our leadership council that there has to be an open dialogue or we're not going to get the most out of them and they're not going to get the most out of us and that's something I took this past summer that has really evolved my coaching game especially with my team that's really cool that you sort of were able to take all that away absolutely and I'm so thankful for for Paul and Michael and what they did with the PLL and just to be a part of that especially in the inaugural 
inaugural year, you know, that'll be a memory we have forever. And I got to ask you, John, about the future. You know, have you made any decisions yet or have you thought about it at all looking ahead in your playing career? Yeah, I've definitely thought about it a lot. I think every year, especially in my last couple of years, in my talent in my career, you know, I, I really like to know what I'm doing by January 1st. And I think that's only fair to the team that I, I make that commitment and, and start training. And uh, so I got a couple of weeks left to make that decision and make sure that, uh, you know, I, I want to be all in if I'm going to do that. I never want to uh, do something, you know, half ass. And, and if we're going to continue to find a new coaching staff and, and move forward with the Chrome team, uh, you know, I need to be all in and ready for my team and, and to play better than I did last summer. So I got a couple more weeks. I have to talk to my wife and, uh, and we'll make that decision here pretty shortly. Well, looking forward to seeing you guys this spring, John. Thank you so much for the I time, man. It. Thanks for having me. Thank you.